What's going on YouTube? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And on my channel, we focus on fragrances as well as fashion. So if you enjoy looking good and smelling great, then you'll probably enjoy the content on this channel. Why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And take another quick second, if you don't mind, to hit that bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I upload new content on the channel. So guys, I got something fun for you today. We're gonna to be comparing Silver Mountain Water from the House of Creed and two fragrances that have done, in my opinion, a great job of cloning the Silver Mountain Water DNA. We're talking about Club de Noe CIs from the House of Armand and Musky Green Tea from Dossier Parfum. So we're gonna be talking about the similarities in these fragrances and some of the slight differences that I was able to pick up um, as I really took a closer dive into these three scents so this is going to be good so if you want to hear my thoughts on these three fragrances you know the routine keep it locked right here All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're gonna jump right into this video today. So, Silver Mountain Water, this is the originator from the House of Creed. Uh, this fragrance was created in the year of 1995. And I told you guys before, when I first put my nose on this, I wasn't the biggest fan of this fragrance, but I put it on a test strip and I put it on my hand, went back to work, and by the time I got back to work, I turned around and went back and picked it up because it was just something really unique and captivating about this that made me really want to go ahead and invest into a full bottle. My bottle is about halfway gone. I'm gonna try to cherish this because this fragrance, well, this particular bottle uh, was done in the year of 2015. And I know you guys have heard the talk about Creed and how things have changed. To me, the change really happened when they changed the bottle style. So when Viking came out, I think in 2019 maybe, I did start to notice a difference in the quality of Creed's fragrances. Now, in addition to that, uh, I was a big fan of these four ounce bottles. So I don't really understand when you talk about value proposition for a customer, how you can decrease the bottle size, but not really decrease the price that you're asking for for the fragrances. So definitely was a fan, wasn't a fan of that move, but most of my bottles of Creed are these four ounce bottles. So I'm going to try to hold on and cherish my four ounce bottles of Creed. So Silver Mountain Water, I love this thing. That inky metallic vibe that people talk about made this fragrance very, very unique. Fast forward to the year of 2020, we have two fragrances that have come onto the scene that are a lot less expensive than Silver Mountain Water. We're talking about Club de Noe Siage from the House of Armand. And we also have Musky Green Tea from Dossier Parfums. Both of these fragrances, again, in my opinion, have done a great job of capturing the DNA of Silver Mountain Water. So what I wanted to do first was really talk about what's in these fragrances and kind of give, again, what it was similar and some of the slight differences between these three fragrances. Well, when I really looked at the note breakdown of all three, there are four notes that are that's in all three of these fragrances, and we're talking about bergamot, black currant, musk, as well as sandalwood. So there are th four notes that all three of these fragrances share. So let me say this, when you have a fragrance that has similar notes, they don't all have to be the same, more than likely it's going to remind you of the other fragrance. So if you put your nose on Silver Mountain Water first, and then you smelled either of these fragrances, of course you're gonna be reminded of Silver Mountain Water because they do share similar notes. Now again, there are some, sim some le similarities, but there are some slight differences in all three. Now there are three other notes that these two share that are in common that is not present in Club de Noe Sea Eyes. I'm gonna talk about that in just a moment. Now these two, Silver Mountain Water and Musky Green Tea, both share the notes of green tea Petit grain as well as mandarin orange. Now, the thing with sea eyes is this: instead of mandarin orange, Club de Nuit Sea Eyes used two other fruitier chords to create a fruitier chord in the opening, but it's a little bit 
sharper than what you get from a mandarin orange note in these two fragrances they use lime and lemon so it's still fruity but it's a little bit sharper than these other two fragrances but it's not something that most people are going to really be able to differentiate so it still smells very very similar again almost 100 percent similar to what you're going to get in silver mountain water although the notes are actually different now of these three fragrances club they know we see i from the house of our mob actually has more notes that are different from the other two fragrances but again at the end of the day i think club they know we see eyes as well as this one this one is about the weird thing is this is about 90 to 92 percent i would say similar to uh silver mountain water and this is about 95 which is that's crazy to me because this one actually has less notes that are at least listed that are similar to silver mountain water now something that this one does that's a little bit different this one comes off slightly more powdery and floral to me if we're just comparing it to uh, Silver Mountain Water. And that's because it has notes like uh, irises in this. Um, you have iris, you have rose, you have jasmine. Uh, so again, slightly more powdery and floral in this one. And again, it's something that at the end of the day, most people just aren't going to really be able to differentiate, but it is something that gives this one a slight bit, uh, makes this one a slight bit uh, different. And I guess you would say, um, and unique if you're just comparing it apples to apples to uh, Silver Mountain Water. Now this one right here, again, the note breakdown is, is 100% the same with the exception of two notes, which is this one as Neroli and Oris. So this, this one is slightly more powdery as well than Silver Mountain Water, but the difference with Silver Mountain Water from both these fragrances is this one has galbanum. And galbanum is a resin that kind of gives fragrances this slightly resinous slightly the metallic thing that people talk about that makes silver mountain water so unique that's a note that is absent from both these fragrances so i don't quite get that inky metallic thing in these other two fragrances that i get from silver mountain water that makes it so unique but at the end of the day like i said the average person that you're walking by on the street aren't going to be able to tell the difference if you're wearing siage silver mountain water or musky green tea so at the end of the day, when we talk about the value proposition, which one should you get? It's about what your budget is going to allow you to, to afford. Uh, this one right here, right now, CIs is going for about that. Most places I've seen it, it's around that $50 to $60 price point. And this is 3.6 ounces. Musky green tea, this is 1.7 ounces. But you can, if you go to their website, Dossier uh, Parfum website, there's always discount codes and this one you can try it first because it does come with the uh this sample size so you can try it before you even commit to keeping it so you can get most of the time on their website 20 percent off of that price plus they have this uh 100 guaranteed return so if you tried the sample without even going into the full bottle and you didn't like it you can send it back and get a full refund so that gives some value proposition to this one, although it's not as much juice as this. You can return this if you did not like it without even opening the full bottle. Now, when it comes to, of course, Silver Mountain Water, I already told you the value proposition sucks on this one because they've lessened the amount of juice they have in their bottles and the quality has decreased. So if you have a bottle already in your collection and it's pre-2018 or so, I would definitely say you are you're lucky because they had some really really uh Cree used to have just like some very very high quality which again has taken a hit over the last couple of years so you know ultimately if you're a collector and still just want to get in your collection i don't blame you it's a great fragrance but i would try to get one that preceded the year of 2018. so at the end of the day whatever your budget is going to allow you to afford either way you're going to smell like silver mountain water and the average person that you come into contact with is not going to tell the difference between whether or not you're wearing musky green tea, silver mountain water, or Club de Nui Siad from the house of Armaf. So, all right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I just wanted to kind of give you guys my take uh, on these two clones of silver mountain water, musky green tea, and Armaf's Club de Nui Siad. 
As always, I appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, it could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining because I'm your guy, Darren, the bow tie fragrance guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.